This theorem relates uh, continuity to uh, functions with uh, sequences. And uh, for this, you can have any function with any point in the domain. We're going to call it x0. And it says that if a function is continuous at the point x0, that is going to be equivalent to saying that if we take every sequence that we call xn, then if xn tends to x0, that will imply that f of xn tends to f of x0, which is very similar to just the usual definition of continuity, which is that if you take a limit with x going to x0 of the function, it has to equal f of x0. So see how here we're saying xn instead of x, but essentially it's going to be the same thing. That's what we have to prove. So um, for the first part of the proof, we have to prove it for um, limit points. For limit points, there's really not much to say, though, other than the fact that we can just use the theorem on the characterization of, um, of limits of functions with limits of sequences. So even in the book, you'll see that um, that's all they say. You don't have to say anything else. So just say that we can apply the theorem on the characterization Um, of limits of functions with limits of sequences. And it's just assumed to automatically be true. So there really is nothing to prove for that. The one that we do have to prove is um, the one for isolated points. So for isolated points, we know that for functions, part of the definition of continuity uh, says that at isolated points, a function is automatically continuous. So this is just from the definition um, of continuity. So the definition of continuity says that for limit points, we have to say what I said before. Uh, with the limit as x goes to x0 equals the point, while for isolated points, it's automatically assumed to be continuous. So for this, we just have to find a sequence that um, tends to x0 for an isolated point. So keep in mind that an isolated point is completely separate from the rest of the um, of the function. So if you have a function like this, <clears throat> these here would all be limit points and an isolated point would be way over here. So since you can't actually have a sequence um, that approaches that point, unless that sequence is just equal to that point, then in order for this to be possible, xn has to just equal that point all the time. And if that's the case, then we can say that the images of these points are always going to be the same. So if we want to take f of x sun, that's going to be f of x0, f of x0, and so on. And so if the function is always giving you the same value, then that's implying that it's converging to that value. which, to restate the theorem, is saying that um, <clears throat> fxn, fxn tends to f of x0. Um, 